Hello, in this video, we'll talk about cholecystokinin. So, cholecystokinin is a hormone which is important for gastric function. In this video, we would talk about what is CCK or cholecystokinin, what is the function of it, and what is the molecular mechanism of its action. And lastly, we would summarize all this video. So, stay tuned till the end of this video. It would be a very short but comprehensive video. So, cholecystokinin is composed of varying number of amino acids. It's the amino acid type hormone and it is modified from a precursor known as preprocholecystokinin, which is 150 amino acid long. From that, there could be different variants such as CCK58, suggesting 58 amino acid containing cholecystokinin, CCK33, CCK22. All of these uh, isoforms or different formats could be modified by post-translational modification and after that it would be very functional and each of these different variant has different functions we would discuss all of that so cholecystokinin is secreted from the endocrine cells of duodenum and some portion of the jejunum so cck is a peptide hormone that acts on primarily on pancreatic acinar cells also it acts on liver gallbladder and also the stomach and each case it has a distinct effect so cck leads to release of all the digestive enzymes from the pancreas and when it comes to gallbladder it leads to secretion of bile so these are the two major functions of CCK. Now the question is what leads to cholecystokinin secretion? So let us understand the reason of cholecystokinin secretion. So whenever food comes from stomach to the duodenum, the acidity of the food need to be neutralized and also the food need to be digested. So the food gives a kind of feedback which leads to cholecystokinin secretion from these enteroendocrine cells and ultimately the cholecystokinin would be acting upon pancreas gallbladder etc to digest the food for example if you have ingested fatty acids digested pro partially digested proteins or amino acid all of these substances or presence of all of these substances can increase cholecystokinin secretion. In contrast, carbohydrates such as glucose or any other carbohydrates can give, give rise to a brief increase in CCK levels. But one thing that really increases cholecystokinin secretion is the fat. So now uh, let's talk about what is the effect of cholecystokinin secretion. So what is the outcome? So once CCK is secreted, it majorly acts on the pancreatic cells, pancreatic acinar cells, which lead to secretion of majority of the pancreatic enzymes, such as pancreatic amylase, lipase, trypsinogen, chymotrypsinogen, etc. Now let us look at the pancreas to understand this phenomena better. So CCK travels through the bloodstream and now it works on the acinar cells and also the duct cells and leads to secretion of pancreatic enzymes and these enzymes are really important for digestion and absorption for example pancreatic amylase trypsin uh, chymotrypsin etc and all release actually 60 to 70 percent release is modulated by cck only so cck has a huge role in pancreatic enzyme secretion. So let us look at the molecular level. So CCK is a peptide type hormone. So it binds to CCK receptor. Generally in the pancreas, it is CCK receptor type B and it stimulates a G protein signaling cascade, which ultimately leads to calcium elevation in the cytosol. Now the elevated calcium helps in vesicle containing enzymes uh, fusing and release of these enzymes into the uh, acin. So that leads to 
pancreatic secretion. So now we understand the molecular mechanism of it. So now let's talk about what is the effect of CCK on bile secretion. So CCK is a major hormonal regulator of gallbladder contraction. So gallbladder contraction can be evoked by neuronal cues or hormonal cues and the major hormonal player is CCK. So consistent with these uh, effect, CCK also relaxes the sphincter of OD and helps to secrete bile in the duodenum. Moreover, it has effects on stomach. So CCK actually delays the gastric emptying, ensuring when the content of the stomach is reaching the duodenum, at that point of time, all the pancreatic enzyme should be present. So this timing match is actually done by CCK at the molecular level. So CCK relax the proximal stomach and also leads to contraction of the pylorus. And that is the major effect of CCK on stomach. When it, concern, when it talks about uh, central nervous system, CCK receptor can be found in various parts, especially in the limbic system. So CCK mediates satiety and that is why it's kind of like a hormone which uh, prevents more food uptake. And it makes a lot of sense because once you have a lot of food inside your stomach and it's going down in your intestine to be digested, at that point of time, you need to focus more on digestion rather than ingesting more food. So it brings out a feeling of satiety and prevent more food ingestion. Now, In case of both humans and rodents, it has been seen that these CCK receptors are present in limbic system and they have a, um, angiogenic effect. So it increases anxiety or panic. Now it's not really known, the detailed function is not really known and yet to be discovered. So, so far, we have learned quite a lot of functions and uh, molecular mechanisms by which cholecystokinin works. And a comprehensive summary is given in this table. You can take a screenshot of it. It could be a nice flashcard for your preparation. So, as per summary, we can say that cholecystokinin has widespread effect on stomach, gallbladder, pancreas, and even brain. So, all these things makes cholecystokinin a very important local hormone for digestion and uh, absorption. So I hope that uh, this video was comprehensive. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can help me in Patreon by being a Patreon and contributing $5 only. And my courses are also available in Unacademy. You can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount on that. See you in the next video. Thank you. And do let me know in the comment how you like my videos. Thank you guys.